Yo, what is going on guys? Blazing Fernox here, and welcome back to the next part of my Eurotruck adventure up to um, Amsterdam and the Netherlands, and then we'll see, that'll be the end of Season 1 of my series. So, if you're new, uh, make sure to probably watch Episode 1 before this, if not, it's not that big of a deal, you've got nothing ready to catch up on. But, uh, without further ado, let's get into it, because... Um, yeah, I think it's going to be quite a long journey, and my pedals have seemed to have slipped away. Give me a minute. All right, okay. So, um, I just travelled to a different destination in Calais, which is where we left off last video, just to see if I could find a trailer. But um, I had no luck, so we're driving to another one in Calais. And hopefully we'll be able to get a better thing. So, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, again, my PC's been on the whole day. Uh, I have a habit of doing that. Wait until evening time when I record my videos. So frames will be a bit jumpy. But that's that'd be fine. And uh, I know I've paused the game for a minute, but I'm just doing something quick. So bear with me annoying me that's all okay yeah I'm being beeped at right okay right pretty sure I've got some nautica open in the background as well and yes that is me hinting something there but that might be why because uh for some nautica I have the graphics pumped up quite high um it just means I can see stuff a lot easier as well, and stuff like that. For obvious reasons. Um, it, well, if you don't know about Zanotka, um, yeah, there's a lot of biomes and stuff that are um, quite hard to see if you don't have um, your render distance up high, so that's the reasoning. I'm pretty sure this was a save I put a few mods on. Um, I put a few mods on one of my saves earlier. I'm pretty sure it was this one, and I'm hoping it was this one. Um, I'm gonna go to the like repair shop and see, go into my customizations and see if it's there. I saw the Google Maps navigation thing. Um, but it's not working yet. Which probably makes me think I didn't put the mods on, but oh wow. Also with Subnautica, uh, if I end up doing any videos on that, yeah, I'd probably scream at some moments, because there's a lot of things that come out of nowhere on Subnautica, and you just, yeah, get jumped by them. But I love getting jump scared, I don't know. It's just funny. When I rewatch stuff, because like when I check over my videos and that to make sure they're not corrupted or anything before I upload them, there's all, if there's like jump scares and stuff in a game, then it's just funny for me to watch. I'm pretty sure it's funny for other people to watch as well. But yeah, and everyone seems to be streaming games. I'm gonna sort out my jumpy frames quick, guys. Give me a minute. I got a lot of stuff open which doesn't need to be open. Hang on for a minute. Give me a second. Um, there's a lot of stuff which doesn't need to be open. Right, okay. We're good. You, I, I put my frame rate counter at the top just so I can monitor stuff as well because I'm trying to figure out uh, my frame rates while recording. Um, I'm getting a better graphics card soon, but for the moment, the one I've got is fine. Um, job, and it's not bad either. Not exactly top of the range. It's not it's like low though, but I could um, do. A better one for practicality reasons with um, recording. 
obviously, because I like recording, it's just nice. And yeah, I get to share stuff, and then it can be used as memories as well in years to come, you never know. But um, I've adjusted my audio levels a bit, so you should be able to hear game audio. Uh, there's not much game audio coming through at the moment. But, um, yeah. You should be able to hear game audio this time. I'm really hoping you can. Anyway. But you can definitely hear me. I've turned up my mic volume as well. And also, I've not got a very... I've not got a sore throat this time. Um, so, yeah. Just a bit croaky. Apart from that, it's fine. So I'm not actually sure how long this journey will take. So, uh, trying to calculate three hours in this game in real life uh, while making sure I'm in the right lanes. Um, okay, I don't know. I got pulled up. He went a bit fast. It shouldn't take too long anyway. It's uh, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. So we're heading over to Brussels in Germany, in case you didn't know, but yeah. I don't know where I'm, wh where I'm wearing my headphones, wait, I don't know why I'm wearing my headphones because they're not even like fully plugged in, so I'm not actually getting any sound out of them. Oh well. So if, if you are enjoying this, by the way, you, drop a comment, because it's nice relaxing videos, you know. Not too active, I guess would be the word. So for people who like react, relaxing, chilled back videos, um, yeah, this video is obviously for you. But I am gonna do some more like active videos and stuff, which kind of was with that hint for Subnautica. Um, but yeah, that's that's that that's gonna be fun. If I do end up doing a Subnautica series, um, drop in the comments if you want me to completely start. I've l literally all I've got up, gotten up to because I started a new save. Uh, I haven't played much through the game anyway before, but um, all I've done in my new save is um, get the repair tool and the sea glide, and that's about it. I haven't really done much, but if you do want me to start from the beginning and that with the first cutscene, yeah, let me know. Also, I might do a below zero, but I want to preferably complete on this YouTube channel. I've completed the game before, um, because for some reason I started like save once and it was halfway through the game. Anyway, I'm not talking about that. Um, but if I want to do a series on original and then I can move to below zero, it's just because I want to do it in sort of in order. But below zero, I don't even think you're playing as the same character. So uh, you never know, I might do. But I don't even have below zero, so I'd have to get below zero. Um, obviously, in order to play it. But I have been looking at stuff from it, because I didn't watch a full series on it, but I've looked at uh, trailers from it, and it looks quite good. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I feel like all these, all my, all these, uh, well, both your trap videos I've done so far have just been me asking if you want me to do this, you could do that. But I don't know. Uh, what else can I say? Hey, at this point in time with this channel, I don't have like a big enough audience to be talking about like stuff people put in comments. Because of course, comments you don't get that many when you've got the following that I have. But um, in case you don't actually probably know who I am, because I haven't actually explained much, um, I play a lot of games like Call of Duty and stuff, but I'm, I'm not really going to upload Black Ops 4 at the moment. Uh, I'm going to wait till Modern Warfare comes out, and then uh, the whole of Blaze Esports, we're just going to be pumping out videos, so you want to look forward to that. That is something you want to look forward to. Because... Um, I'm going to try to get some videos like really early on in the beta, closed beta and open beta. Because um, we're all pre-ordering it. But 
yeah, that's going to be fun. If you're not a Call of Duty fan, well then, I suggest you still watch them anyway. But that's quite a few months away yet. But it will be interesting. I can guarantee you. Because um, we're actually going to have people other than just me in the videos. So you'll have Blaze Apps and you have Blaze Cloudy as well. Also, I forgot to mention um, that Blaze Cloudy left uh, Blaze Esports for a while. Um, it was just as like kind of a break as we weren't doing much, but he is joining back soon. So uh, first video that's going to go up on the Blaze Esports channel is going to be an introduction video with all of us introducing ourselves, telling us what we play and um, yeah, stuff like that, just general information. Um, I, I, I'll try and link, let's try that again. I'll try and link the channel in the description of this video. If I forget, well then I forget, but I will try and link it. Um, if I remember. But there's no videos up on it yet anyway, so that link will be your only chance of subscribing to the channel before any videos goes up, because it doesn't come up if you search, if you haven't got any videos. So. Also, if you're trying to keep your, your account private on YouTube, that's how it works. If you've got no videos, if someone searches you up, you don't come up. Just let it in, you know. I was going to say, the traffic's really slowed down, and I was about to complain about the AIs then, but speed limit's changed. So. If you want to see American uh, Truck Simulator, um, let me know as well, because... I'm not that fussed with it though. Um, the main fact it's just like America. Well, the the roads in the game are just like how do I put it? I I don't know how to explain it, but I think Eurotruck is just best game for me. Also, I live in Europe. I live in the UK, so even more reason to play this game than American Truck Simulator. But I will be trying out some mods, definitely, um, as I explained in the last video for this. Uh, like, interesting. I might, like, I might download pro mods. I might not, but it just seems like a big hassle. Um, but I might search up a guide on how to, like, download it the fastest way. And then I'll see how I go on from there. But for that, I need to get uh, one more DLC, because there's one DLC that I'm missing, which is actually needed to download Pro Mods. Otherwise, it won't work, because they use them like the prefabs, I'm guessing. That's my guess, anyway. But, um... I think I said it in... I'm trying to remember what video. Okay, I can't remember what video. Anyway, I said it in one of my videos that I was going to probably start a minecraft series if that was in the comment section of one of my videos um yeah that's gonna be a definite it's just realm idea i don't really play on uh, my friends realm anymore well the realm with all my friends in it it's just because it's gotten like to act and everything in there everyone messes about now so that's a no-no I think it might be my G Fuel Tall Boy unboxing. I just realised I'm speeding. That's me for checking my phone. But um, yeah, Minecraft series would probably be a definite. Which is weird. It's because I was discussing about starting a Minecraft series before Minecraft uh, shot up with in popularity again. Literally, just just the day I was thinking about it, Minecraft got a massive player boost again. Um, that seems to happen with me. Uh, it's like with my vinyl collection and that. I got I started collecting vinyls, and then like a month or like a week later, um, vinyl started getting popular again. Which is actually strange, like really, really weird. Yeah. Right, we're pretty much here, so. I'm going to check the time on this video, and then if we've got more time, I'll probably do another journey. I might not. I might keep this video nice and short. I haven't actually decided yet. I, there was this mod which um, made the seat move about, you know, with the uh, 
what's it called the hydraulic seat in trucks uh rather than just like you know the game have being like a normal seat which doesn't simulate the seats you get in trucks i think about downloading that it just adds a matter of realism but the only issue i find with that is it it might be like make people to get like feel almost like sick from watching the videos but i'm not sure i haven't watched enough footage of the mod to know yet i think it should be fine but i'm just being cautious with it hey there we are brussels discovered The reason why I want to go up to Amsterdam and that as well, and the Netherlands, I, I, I think I can do it here in Germany as well, is for the main fact that I can get double trailers. Um, so I think that would be quite interesting. Oh, one of my mods has worked. Got DHL trailers. That's nice to see. An actual familiar trailer. I'm also big on like drifting and stuff, so if you wanna see me play like Live for Speed, don't get it mixed up with Need for Speed. Live for Speed, then that's something I can do as well, but that's not priority at the moment. I don't want to start too many series in too many series. In, so. I've already got enough stuff piled up for this channel at the moment, and I don't need. Uh, anymore, and I just realized how crap this parking job's gonna be, but oh well. Works, it works. Okay, let's see how crap this actually works. Oh, okay, didn't get time. But drifting is something that I really like, and if I can contact some of my old friends and stuff. Uh, I can do like tandems and stuff. Um, again, because that's that's really fun, and it's actually quite nice to watch on videos as well. It's quite satisfying to actually watch two cars like nearly touching doors while drifting. I made that sound so boring saying it, but yeah, it is right. Let me check how long we've actually been recording for, because um, okay, can't remember how to check. Shoot. Anyway, I think that's probably gonna do it for this video. I'm not sure. I'll see if there's a short journey and then I'll add that on, but apart from that, um might not do it. Okay, that's just going back to Calais, so um let me go on to my map actually. We'll see. Nope, not quick job, that's not what I wanna do. From Brussels. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything right. Um, so I think that just about does it for this video. I'm so close. I don't want to do many videos in series. Um, you know what I mean? In a row, it's just a bit. Oh, how do I go about explaining it? It's just a bit too, like, frustrating then. Because um, if this season doesn't go very well... I I'm calling it a season. It basically is a season. Yeah, if this doesn't go this well this season, then I won't do another season. But it'll annoy me just to do a few videos and then not to do it again. If uh, it's not like that much. This I I I'm to call it series. Yeah, there are. that sounds better. So, I think I'll just keep the seasons nice and short for the moment until I get like a full response on whether we want this to carry on. Because of course I'm gonna get a few, I'm gonna get like a few people that will say, yeah, this series they like it and that. But I got to think in the long term about everyone, obviously not just a few people. It appears on my accessory. Oh, actually. Right, okay, right, yep. Yeah. Start now, you can go. Boom. Heads up display. Oh, it's a bit glitched in this track. Okay, so I'm going to have to have it here. Okay, that's fine. And then. 
Okay, I can't remember if that even works anymore. The right, we'll, we'll just have to test it out and see how it goes. Used to have some cool like lights and stuff for trucks, but I got to dig out those mods. For the moment, though, I think it's fine. Not sure. Actually, I might go for the Titan just for some contrast. Uh, down here is fine for the moment. I want to spend all that much money on this truck because I want to upgrade it like to a better truck at some point. So I think I'm gonna just keep it nice and like cheap for now. I don't know. I might make it a ridiculous color. You know what I mean? Yeah, again, I can make it look decent without like spending money on these. But apart from that, it's pretty limited at what I want to get at the moment. As you can, as you can probably see, this is quite. It's not cheap. The decals, and obviously, I don't want to spend too much. So I think I'm just gonna leave it on streamline probably. And I'm gonna go for like I'm gonna go for like a weird color that's not like weird too weird. And all right, we're at two thousand, so it's not that bad disorder at the moment. I also find they look ridiculous if you don't put any lights on those horns. Okay, this is gonna be like okay, yeah, yeah, the money's racking up. Yeah. I was thinking about putting some lights down here on the grill, but I haven't even locked the grill I want yet. So. Oh, with the black it looks nice. Oh, mid that bring. Uh. Alright, we'll go for it. We might as well. I mean. Okay, right. Okay. I think maybe the map, the heads up display might be a tiny bit not updated maybe just the tiniest bit but i don't know oh ow i just yeah it's maybe a little bit out weird all right we we'll just have to go back in and fix that all right um go do something you're not meant to do but i'll do it anyway and that was very close to that lamppost but luckily i didn't hear it Ooh. Okay, I did hit him though. And that's not why you're not meant to do that. That heads up display is going to bug me and it's probably going to bug everyone. If I have it there, so. Also, when I have it off, it's like a blurry spot and it looks like a broken shadow. So, I'm not going to keep that on there either. There's also a modded truck which I want to put on um, at some point. But for the moment, I don't need it, so. You know, I, I kind of knew it was going to be broken because there it's messed up. Right, so let's remove that, let's do that, and then that. Okay, that's going to cost us a thousand because we've just removed it and put it back on. Great. Great. See, I like the mug, but I think putting a compass there will probably be I like phone. I don't know. I keep the mug on there. Any problem with the scanner is you can't. Lola. Any problem with this scanner is you can't put stuff there. I really like it when I can put stuff there. Um. But I can't. So we just kind of have to deal with it. And I'm not going to change anything else. I could change it to European side, but. Yeah, I want to save it to probably upgrade the engines as well. And then I'll probably transmission and put a bit. About transmission on it because it that adds a retarder as well, um, which is very useful. At least for me, it's useful. So I think I'm probably going to leave the video here though. Um, I've done a decent amount um, driving in this video, not too much, but keeps the video nice and short. So I'm going to go park up um, 
at this hotel over here, and right, I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. Um, and then I'll end off the video. But if you did enjoy this video, uh, like I said in the last video, if you, if you do enjoy this, make sure to leave a like so I know that you are enjoying it. Because, um, yeah, it'd be very good for you if you're not enjoying it and you don't let me know. Because I'll probably continue uploading these. And then, yeah. But I do need suggestions. I've said that too many times. But I honestly need suggestions. Without them, uh, I don't know what really to upload. But I figured Subnautica is a really good idea. And a lot of people like it. I think that's my plan of action. For the next videos so but anyway if you have enjoyed this video make sure to smash like button comment like i just said and let me know your thoughts in that comment and this has been blazing fernox i'll see you in the next video and peace out peace